Becoming a top 1% man, becoming the modern day gentleman, should be something that you, as a young man, should aspire to be like. And with the bar being set so low by society, it is more easy than ever to become a top level man. However, what exactly does it take to become a top level man? You hear a lot of people, especially in the red pill kind of industry, say it's all about money and chasing women and having all of this, that's, that's what makes you a top level man. But for me, that couldn't be further from the truth. For me, as cringe as it might sound, a top level man starts from within. It comes from your values, your morals, you know the difference between right and wrong. Because this is rarer than ever in our day and age. And that is my problem with a lot of people that tell you how to become a top level man, how to become the modern day gentleman. You see all of these videos, but they all kind of just tell you the same thing. Just earn as much money as you possibly can and then get the women. It's all kind of extrinsic things. It's stuff that's not actually going to make you value anything important in life. It's not going to make you happy at all. I'm extremely proud of how I was raised by my mum, pretty much single handedly, with excellent values, excellent morals. I always got complimented from a young age, and I still do to this day, of what a nice young man I am. I hear that from so many people. I just do the basic things that we miss by a lot of people. Maybe you yourself have not done this enough. Just smiling, talking to strangers, holding the door for an elderly, elderly person, and just being caring. It's always something that has come naturally because of how I was brought up, and I couldn't be more grateful and appreciative to my mum for doing this to me. Whereas I don't see this in a lot of young men, particularly in these, this day and age, in our generation. They're not brought up correctly whatsoever. However, I understand it is not just exactly this. It's not just your values, your morals, which is the most important thing. I'm gonna talk about appearance now. And for me, the ideal appearance you want to go for is kind of the, the James Bond look, the Tristan Tate, you're looking smart, you're well groomed, you just look cool, you look a bit like a gangster but not like a, a thug or anything like that, you just look nice and I think this is kind of the blueprint kind of appearance that a lot of young men should follow just to look smart. Looking smart and well groomed whenever you're out in public it's not that hard and particularly when the bar is set so low you will stand out so easily from the crowd. You see most people they just stink in general. I see so hit like just see so many people out and they just they just smell so bad and a lot of people don't even brush their teeth and they just look scruffy and it can't be any more easy than this. A lot of people just do not care about your appearance. But at the end of the day we're all being judged for this we all judge each other for how we look subconsciously whether you like it or not it's just the way we work as humans and a lot of people will say oh like you don't have to wear a suit and no you don't need to wear a suit and you don't have to have the most expensive clothes but all you need to do is just look smart look presentable you never know you can't afford to not look good is the the kind of message that i want to give you you don't know who you're gonna meet and it says a lot about your self-image you have no respect for yourself if you can't go out and look as well as you possibly could every single day a top level man is respected by others and that respect comes from within and it comes from the accomplishments and what exactly that man stands for that's why i have a lot of respect for myself because i know i stand for the right things and i'm proud of what i've achieved in my life whereas for you if you're not you don't have the same respect for yourself and that's probably well well deserved. If you if you don't have the respect, you're not you, you know you don't stand for good things, you're not accomplished anything meaningful in your life, then naturally at the end of the day, you're gonna feel it. Whether you like it or not, whether you think that's wrong or right, it's just how it is. And there's a lot of fake people out there who pretend to be the guy, pretend to have the women, pretend to be happy, they show their highlight reel on Instagram, and this is the way you should live your life. They couldn't be further from the truth and these are the people you want to avoid who aren't genuine at all. I've previously been friends with a lot of people and that is why I don't have many, I don't really let many people into my life and I, and I, I kind of keep my, my circle very small these days because I've been friends with the wrong people, people who have fought my friends but they, they never had the true values that I had and they kind of they put me further away from the person that I am, that I want to be, the person I truly stand for, and this didn't make me feel good at all. So be very cautious when you see people, because a lot of people, they want to be that guy, but they're not, and 
they don't have your best interests at heart, so be very cautious of that. When it comes to the extrinsic things of life, such as the money, the assets, the body, materialistic possessions, you want to become a high level a level guy across the board, of course you do. So these things do matter as well. I'm not saying they don't matter at all, because they are important too, but they're just not the most important thing that a lot of people will try and tell you that they are. A key system that I've followed, which is First Man, he has a straight seven system, which basically means becoming a seven across the board which is far more value than being a 10 in one aspect of your life. Say maybe you've got a 10 out of 10 body or you've got 10 out of 10 money, you've got millions in the bank, but you're not, you don't have the body or you don't have, you've not got good social skills. You're not a nice guy. You don't have the charisma. You don't have everything. You want to be at a seven across the board because when you think about it in your life, who do you know who's got, who's a seven across the board when it comes to everything in life, the key things, the money, the assets, the body, the charismatic guy, the nice guy, the funny guy, like they're just they're just a good level. And that's I think that is the best kind of blueprint to follow. Being across the board, just that seven kind of level. Because I think everyone can achieve a reasonable like seven. It's a good score. Like you can I don't know what that may be. It's obviously very different depending on your stage of your life and how old you are and your circumstances. But say maybe for myself, having 20, being 22, maybe I'd have like 10k in the bank when it comes to money. Whereas maybe if you're a bit older, you're 30, you might have 30, 40k in the bank would be like a seven. Like you're not, you're not absolutely loaded, but you're not sure. You don't need to worry about money at all. And the same could be said for your body you've got like a a good kind of like aesthetically pleasing body you've kind of got a bit of a six pack your muscles are pretty good maybe you're about 12 percent body fat this is kind of what i'm talking about you can probably get the gist and see what you'd kind of need to be a seven or the other kind of areas in your life but i think that's a great system so definitely go check out first man and find out more about the straight seven system so this has been my take on what it takes to become a modern day gentleman because I'm kind of sick of seeing the same things. It's all about money and women. And for me, it is exactly starts from within. And if you're not that guy, then for me, you'll never be that top level gentleman. Improve your moral, morals, improve your values and what you stand for. And that is what it takes to become a modern day gentleman. If this video has really helped you, I'd really appreciate if you like and subscribe. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one where we can improve your, become you, make you become this modern day gentleman that you should aspire to be like, link will be below. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.